Today, actually, I want to talk something really interesting, not so much about the medicine, but I get this kind of question on a daily basis, is that something that Zan you are doing was so good, why is so few center doing the way which you do? I will explain to you. So, as you may know, one of the major protocols which New Hope Fertility Center developed, and we love this protocol very well in in vitro fertilization, is called minimal stimulation IVF, or we call the mini IVF. So the mini IVF protocol, different from the conventional IVF protocol, is basically the patient taking less medicine, making less eggs, less side effect, but you have the same chance to accomplish your pregnancy and potentially even more cost effective. So the question is that, oh, let me stop one second. First, let's look at the difference between the mini IVF and conventional IVF. Then I'm gonna tell you what the question I'm always get, and I need you to help me to answer this question. So the minimum situation IVF, typically you were taking oral pills for nine days together with three injections of any kind of again or dropping about 75 to 150 units and you were typically making four to six eggs if you were around 30 years or younger and with normal ovarian reserve and typically egg retrieval will be done when the patient awake and the patient will trans embryo fresh or frozen embryo and the chance of your pregnant around 65 percent the whole treatment cycle is about two to three weeks in a conventional IVF protocol, usually you are taking daily injections about 150 to 600 units a day, and maybe injection for 12 to 12 days of injection. And you probably average you can make 10, 15, or 20 eggs. And usually egg retrieval will be done with much bigger needles and, and the general anesthesia. So it's a very big difference. So question is, these two IVF protocols sounds very different, but why? You said that the Zan, it will give the same pregnancy rate. And if this is true, why many centers, almost exclusive every single center in the United States, are still doing conventional IVF? So question, can you explain why? So let me try to explain this and give the answer. First of all, we needed to know that Every month, natural ladies only produce one egg every month. So if you make us four to six eggs, it's much easier to make better quality eggs. When you're making 20 eggs, it's very hard to make more good quality eggs. So that's why six eggs should give the same chance of making baby as a 12 or 20 eggs. The next question, if this protocol is so good, and why many centers still using conventional IVF? The reason for that is very simple. The conventional IVF has studied since 1983 and practically never changed in the protocol. So, including myself, we are all trained to do IVF in this conventional way. So, it is very hard to change from something you've already been doing for 30 years to something you haven't done before. Number one. Number two, doctors still are not confident that making less sex will give the same results. And that's the second reason. By the way, we published our paper in October 2015 in the American Journal of OBGYN, which clearly show the minimum simulation IVF give very compatible present rate as a conventional IVF, but you're making much, much less eggs. So the efficiency is much higher. And uh, number three, indeed, you want to make same success rate, but with much less eggs technically it has to be much more meticulous and the quality control becomes even more important. So it is a more demanding from the doctor, but it's easier on the patient. While conventional IVF is more demanding to the patient, the health, the body, the commitment, but much easier on the lab side, on the doctor side. Meanwhile, there is an increased trends that more and more center and more and more doctors are starting to adapt this minimal stimulation idea. Particularly, many patients now, if they feel the two or three conventional IVF, many centers that are starting trying to do less medicine to see if we can give better results. And uh, in five years, or even in two to three years, I think more and more doctors will starting to do less medications, so-called minimal stimulation idea. Particularly in the ladies 
who do not make more than 4x anyway, even with a conventional idea, and they will be even better candidates to go for the minimal stimulation idea. So this is my explanation. I hope you understand. If you have a better answer to this question, please send an email to me at the New Hope Fertility Center. Or if you have a question about the difference about uh, mini IVF, please let me know. I can answer this question on the blog. Thank you.